Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome once again to Elite Dangerous. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different to the normal one because today I also want to show you a piece of software that I've been using with Elite Dangerous. Some of you may already know of it, but it's a piece of software called Voice Attack. Oh my god, this thing has it's changed the way I play Elite Dangerous. It's really got me back into Elite Dangerous at the minute. It's it's a bit nerdy, but it's one of them things that it kind of it just pulls you in, makes you feel a little bit more engaged in it. It's a basically a piece of software where my microphone is currently listening for commands and it will also activate them in the game. You can program this into any general piece of software. It uses the speech recognition that most Windows PCs use, so some of you will already be aware of general speech recognition. But I've programmed this a little bit. It's very basic because I've done it pretty quick and I'm going to probably going to put a lot more effort into it. The, the actual piece of software itself costs about $8, but there is a free demo available for you to go and download and you can start straight away, but you'll be limited to only one profile and up to 20 commands. But they do urge you to go and try the demo first before you try the main piece of software. Anyway, let's actually show you what it can do. So we can say, I will have to briefly pause before I say commands because the microphone is constantly listening for these commands. So if I carry it, if I say it in the middle of a sentence, it might not work. Greetings, computer. Greetings, commander. See, so there's something nice and basic. Then I can be like, open target comms. Ooh. What am I on about? I've said comms, that's why. Open target panel. There we go. <laughs> Close menu. Open systems, uh, no, what is it? Open system panel. Open system panel. <laughs> I'm forgetting my own commands. This is how quickly I've set this up. Um, I have done some other ones just so that I could scroll around menus quickly if I did so wish. I should have put the webcam on for you, really. I could have showed you that I've got my hands in the air. Um, but, so we can do next panel. Ah, it's going to just play up now, isn't it? Next panel. Next panel. So the problem is, is, I keep trying to say the commands after I finish talking to get rid of the gaps, but it's wrong. You'd have to give it a, a, a good second before actually telling it the next command. Next panel. Next panel. Close menu. Open comms. Close menu. Close menu. So I have to use two to get out of that one. And this will work for pretty much anything, so I can then go down, down, select. Now, I'll just quickly hover us up, and then I'll get it to stop. Full speed. Deploy landing gear. And away we go. And then I can carry on flying it around if I do so wish. And that is, it's just a pretty cool piece of software that you can just do anything you want. So then if I wanted to go and navigate somewhere, we could go open target panel. Right. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll just use that one as an example. Select. Select. Close menu. So there we go. I now have somewhere new that I could then have sit open up. And it's just a pretty cool piece of software. I know it's really silly, but the the software itself is quite powerful. I've left it very basic, so it <clears throat> literally just does button presses for me. Um, but as I say, you can also get it to say all different things to you, so what I was using to make sure the software works would just be voice checks activate. Voice checks activated and functional. There you go. So that's how what I just used as a, a nice longer sentence just to make sure that the uh, voice recognition was working before I start actually making use of the software. But you can program it to do anything, so you can sit there and it could listen for things and just generally program things for you. Or you can just get it to do basic functions, so if I want to get my landing gear back out again, deploy landing gear. And there you go, my landing gear is back out. Unfortunately, because it's one of them things I, I put deploy and I probably shouldn't have, but... Deploy landing gear. There you go, and then it's back. So it's just something that's kind of cool. Anyway, let's go and get myself back and docked again. Need to actually uh, slow the ship down. Would help. Right. Let's get docked. 
Thank you. I can also get it so that if I say, uh, well, as long as I keep this in a sentence, it should be fine. But if I say warp, it will actually um, go into, it'll activate the FSD so that you can quickly port to places. I, it's As I say, it's kind of silly, but it's also kind of awesome because it just, I don't know, it kind of just gives it that bit more engaging. It's just something that, it's silly, but it's cool. So you haven't got to go for a different key press. You can just say something out loud. Just something nice and quick. And away you go. I, I, I find it very cool. But uh, it's something that's not going to be to everyone's taste. I found it ridiculously useful though. Oh, deploy landing gear. Thank you. Saves me stretching for the key. There you go. Proof right there. I, I cannot get used to using this ASP. <laughs> I've used the Viper for so long that I can't get used to using this new ship. Where are we? Can we just go down again so I can see where I am in relation? Yeah, I'd gone a bit too far. In fact, I'm facing the wrong way. God damn it. <laughs> uh, mostly, I've been jumping between like massive sectors, so I've been going to like the uh, the big space station, so being back on these little ones seems kind of strange, honestly. And uh, going from a Viper straight to an ASP feels very strange. In all honesty. There we go. Right, so we're, we're now back here. So now, what I want to try and do now is I will actually try and show you the software itself. So I will now, I'll get up the actual piece of software, we'll record that, and I'll show you some basic functions of it. So I will see you in just a second. Right, so this is the software that we were talking about. And you'll see right now it's just keeping a constant track of everything that I'm saying, everything I'm doing, all that kind of stuff. So now we're going to try and teach it some commands. So Currently, my profile is set to ED, which would be my Elite Dangerous one, but it will only affect the active window, so it won't affect Elite Dangerous when I have it minimised, that kind of thing. So, let's say I wanted to make a new command. I can then go to Edit Profile, and this will bring up all of the commands that I currently have. So, as it would make sense, you can get a new command, and it will bring up this lovely window here. This is where all the fun happens. So, we can get it to say, so let me get my keyboard... Let's, when I say YouTube test, the I can then set it up what I want to do. I want to press a key, do I want it to do a mouse function, do I want it to pause something, do I want it to do something else, do I want it to activate a recorder, whatever, and I can just keep making, I can make a sequence. So you can essentially make a macro using this. Obviously, you can also do it based on key presses, things like that, but obviously for this, for the old point of this software is for when you talk. So we're going to get it to do something else. So we have a list of commands here that we can then also make it do. So it can run a certain application, it can enable a joystick or disable it, you can enable certain hotkeys, whatever. You can play, make it play a certain sound, so if you've got your own little sound brank of things you want it to play, you can do that. It, it's all perfectly possible. I could sit there and tell it to go, oh, play me this song, and then as long as I have that song selected, it will just automatically play it for me. It's kind of cool. But for the purposes of this, I'm going to get to just say something. So, what I want it to say... Uh, I have absolutely no idea. Um, everything is working fine. Not S everything. Everything is working fine. So we'll keep the volume high so you can hear it all nice. It'll probably come through quite loud, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And I'm using, you can then select different voices. You can either use the basic Microsoft ones, or I, I currently have a free, like, test one for uh, a Vona, uh Amy voice, which otherwise I have to pay for it, but at the minute I'm just using a free trial of it. So just because it sounds a little bit better quality. So when I say this, this will be said back to me to show that it's all working fine. So I can change a few things if I did so wish, but we won't mess with all that. So just say OK, and then done. So that is now the new program made. So then I can say, YouTube test. Everything is working fine. And there you go. It's recognised it, that it was the YouTube test, and then it has come up with the appropriate response. Just to do it one more time, we'll do something really quick. So we'll do a new command, uh, just for good measure. 
when I do that, it's going to say back, all right, enough of this shit. There we go. <clears throat> so I've just got to say, <clears throat> oh god, my voice is going, just for good measure. Okay, okay. Just for good measure. All right, enough of this shit. There you go. <laughs> and that is how voice attack worked. It's very cool. So obviously you go into Elite Dangerous, you find out your commands for your different things. So what makes your landing gear come down? what um, opens up your different panels, you find that key, you basically say, when I say this, I want you to press this key in this program. Get it all done, go into the program, and it this is just constantly on in the background as long as this piece of software is open. So then you just say, do this, and it does it. It's fantastic, it's very simple. As you just saw there, it's incredibly, incredibly easy to use. The only thing that it takes a little bit of setting up, it'll probably take, it took me... I think about an hour to fully set it up because you have to go into Windows speech recognition and go through the training. It took me... I did it once and it was getting some words but it was getting still getting quite confused. I did it a second time and then I didn't even bother testing the second one. I just went straight for a third one and since then it's pretty good. Um, as long as I'm talking properly and I give it enough time to actually separate sentences so I actually say the program. So... Um, Obviously, if I'm talking like this and I say, greetings, computer, nothing's going to happen, as you can see. But if I say, greetings, computer, greetings, commander, it still remembers the fact that I'm using the Elite Dangerous command. So even though it was the same command there, it's listening for those two words with a gap. So it works better as a command rather than in the middle of a sentence so it doesn't get too confused, which is nice so that you can actually sit there talking to people and not worry that the program's going to go absolutely insane because you've accidentally said a command without realising I think it's pretty cool and nifty. Anyway, that's all I'm going to go on about today. I'll leave a link to the software if you want to go and check it out for yourself. If I do forget, it is literally just called Voice Attack. You'll find it very easily. Um, obviously, you will need to remember to do your speech recognition on Windows if you do so wish to do that. I think, in fact, if I bring that back up, it'll show you there that I'm using Microsoft Speech Recognizer. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty much all I did. I just did that. Turned on the software. It just immediately knew that that's what it needed to use. And it worked. It was just great. So, hopefully this is helpful to someone. It's It's been pretty awesome. As you can see, when I'm waffling on like this, it gets pretty wrong, what I'm saying. But it knows the com it knows short commands pretty well. Um, <laughs> I, it, I, it's getting very confused with what I'm on about. But there you go. I w it probably would work a lot better if I did the speech recognizer just a few more times. But alas, as I say, it, the, it's designed to listen for commands, not for long structured sentences. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. If this has been helpful to you, do let me know. Hopefully you'll find some enjoyment in this. I've been, I grin like a bloody child every time that this thing talks back to me. Because I'm that kind of guy. I love all that like sci-fi shit and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm going to stop waffling on. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening to me fanboy over a silly piece of software in Elite Dangerous. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>